Security comes from a lot of sources. Owning guns and having the training to use them to defend myself and my family is a big part of that for me. Security also means having a place to keep my guns away from curious kids and criminals alike. And the most popular solution for that in the US is the Liberty Fat Boy. The one in that box is actually the Fat Boy Extreme, an upgraded version that will be my introduction to Liberty safes as a whole. And based on their white glove delivery and installation, I'm already extremely impressed. What else does buying a Liberty Fat Boy mean? That's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. And it's hard to believe that this only took 45 minutes from when the safe installers got here with this safe to when they're pulling away. That includes getting it off of the truck, walking it down a pretty steep grade that had mulch that had gravel that had uneven brick getting it in place bolting it to the floor making sure that the door was balanced appropriately and seals up tight i think it's worth paying the experts to do safe installation every time because for me it's a matter of personal safety as well as the safety of the safe that i invested in in this case i didn't have to pay for it liberty safes did send me this safe and paid for the installation so i had a chance to check it out and show it to you this is the fat boy extreme it differs from the standard fat boy that you'll find in a big box store or can order online mainly in cosmetics on the outside and in layout on the inside Otherwise, the performance is going to be exactly the same. You can get the Fat Boy Extreme through real, real safe shops. They, the ones that specialize in safes, like the dealer that delivered this. You're not going to find this in the big box stores, as far as I know. On the outside, the Fat Boy Extreme differs from the standard Fat Boy in the paint. It's a darker gray paint than the gray that's available on the standard Fat Boy. And it has this black crinkle finish on it that they call the gray marble paint. It has the Fat Boy Extreme logo on the front, which there are pluses and minuses to that. But it also has this really sharp looking black chrome hardware. The standard Fat Boy has shiny chrome. Both the standard Fat Boy and the Fat Boy Extreme are available in a mechanical lock, which is what I chose. That is my preference for an additional $100, $150, I can't remember. You can get a D drive lock, which is a combination of mechanical and electronic lock that is designed with EMP resistance in mind. From my research, it has been tested and shown to be EMP resistant. If that's a concern of yours, that was taken into design for the electronic lock, but I will pick mechanical locks as my option every time I have the choice. On the inside, the extreme is divided into three parts vertically. The standard fat boys are divided into two. One thing you need to keep in mind is this is nominally a 64 rifle safe. Right away, you should always divide that number into two. So I would consider this a 32 rifle safe because if you want to have any kind of convenience putting rifles in and taking rifles out, if you have any kind of optics, including something as simple as a Trijicon MRO red dot on your rifle, it's going to take up more footprint which means you're gonna be able to put fewer rifles in place. I can actually increase the capacity by pulling out more than the shells and racks I've already pulled out. This top shelf is supported in all four corners uh, on the walls of the safe. It doesn't need these walls in the middle to support it as long as I'm not gonna load it up. So if I needed more capacity, first thing that's gonna go is this wall and this rack and then I'm gonna to go to all rifle rods. They actually include a rifle rod starter kit, which is what I'm using on this side. You stick these in the barrel of your, your gun, and then this pushes up, and the Velcro will grab onto the liner in the safe, the standard liner. It will kind of pull it and fluff it up, and if you want, it also comes with the other side, the loop side of the hook and loop, that you can either tack up on the top, on top of the felt liner, or you can put it on a, the bottom of the shelf so you have kind of something else to grab onto instead of liner. 
I'm not too worried about the cosmetics of the liner up there, so I'm just sticking the rifle rods right on the liner. Like you'll find on the inside of the driver's side door on passenger cars sold in the US, you'll find a lot of stickers on the door of most safes, including Liberty safes. They all mean something. They're all very important. This top sticker says it's a UL rated residential security container. There are a number of states and municipalities that require guns to be stored in something rated a residential security container or better. Some will tell you that an RSC is not a gun safe. I'm not going to get into that argument. I'm going to keep calling this a safe nonetheless. They are all just metal boxes and the box purpose is to buy your stuff time not immortality. It'll buy your stuff time against burglary attack. It'll buy your stuff time against fire. In this case, this sticker tells you it's rated for 75 minutes at 1200 degrees. You get hotter than that, your stuff is cooked. You get that hot for longer than that, your stuff is cooked. But that's going to give you a good cushion of time for a fire department to get here, maybe put out your house the, the fire that's in your house before everything burns all the way to the ground. This is pretty important to me, made in the US. A lot of high volume budget safes are actually made in China or made in Mexico, then imported here. This is not, this is made here. And this is their lifetime warranty. It covers absolutely everything. Something breaks in here that shouldn't break, it's covered. Somebody breaks in and damages your safe, they will open your safe they will let you get stu your stuff out of it. They will take that safe away and they'll put a brand new safe in its place. Your house burns down and you end up with a safe that has all the polisol expanded. You're not gonna be able to open it in a standard way. They will pay to have it opened. You get your stuff out and they will replace that safe. Best thing about it is it is transferable. When I sell this house, I may not move this safe. I can convey this to the new owners of the house and they will also have a lifetime warranty on the safe. I could also sell it if you wanted to make room and put in a higher fire rating or higher burglary rating safe. You can also transfer the lifetime warranty along with that. That's a pretty solid warranty that very few other safe companies, if, if any, actually have. This is also where you'll see mentioned the SureTight handle and the DX90 Monster Mech. The SureTight handle is just a clutch that's in between the external handle and the internal latching mechanism. So with this all locked up, somebody gets a pry bar and tries to pry the handle. Instead of the handle breaking, instead of internal mechanism being damaged, the handle's just gonna spin. Same thing if they take a sledgehammer to it. It's just gonna spin. It's gonna reduce the amount of damage that they do to your safe, and it's gonna buy law enforcement more time to come and get the bad guys. The DX90 Monster Mech, I've gotta open this up a little bit more to open the, the bolts all the way, means it's an, it's an over cam design, which means that there's no way to push these bolts in from the side they're not going to be able to measure down from the top, drill a hole in the side, and just punch these bolts open and be able to open your door like it's nothing. Can't happen with the DX90 Monster Mag. The top shelf has cutouts on both sides for super long barrel rifles, like my Savage 338 Lapua Magnum. You can see it sticking out all the way up here, but maybe you don't want this cutout here. You can cover it with one of these panels. They include three of these panels that you can set on top of some of the rifle racks to turn them into shells, but I put one of the ones I wasn't using down below across the hole on this side of the rack. It's allowing me to put my can cannon is back here. I've got two Chris vectors and I've got one, two, three, four uppers and I still have room to stack more stuff in here. I could put complete rifles, lay them horizontally in here if I wanted to add to the capacity from what I'm getting in the vertical sections. All Fat Boys and Fat Boy Extremes come with their new outlet kit installed. It has three power jacks, it has a Cat 5 jack, and it has a USB jack, leaving a lot of people scratching their heads. Why do you need all of that inside a safe? I'm going to use it all. One power jack is for my dehumidifier, which is going to lay here. The other is going to be for the LED lighting kit that I'm going to put in. And the third is going to be for my security camera system, protecting it from the very thieves who will want to walk off with evidence 
of their presence here. They're not going to be able to do that without getting into the safe in the first place. It's also going to protect it from fire. And that's what the Cat5 networking port is going to be used for. The USB port is going to be used for this little USB drive here. It doesn't require additional power. And I am going to keep this in here and be able to network to it real time, keeping important documents, electronic documents that I have that I don't necessarily worry about somebody getting a hold of, but I don't want them walking away with it either, or I don't want it burning down. So I'll keep a file on here with all of my firearm serial numbers and photos of them. I'll keep uh, my tax returns on here. I'll keep other personal information that I want protect protected in case of theft or fire, more so for my convenience uh, than it is for my protection. And because it's plugged in, it's not, it's not me just taking this and sticking it into a pouch to protect it from theft or fire. I'm going to be able to use it. I'm going to be able to change data on it real time while it's protected by the safe. This is the point where I remind you to run the wires to the back of the outlet kit before you bolt the safe to the floor. Though the power cord is included, you'll need to have a Cat5 and USB cable ready for installers because they probably won't have any to give you. But the Fatboy and Fatboy Extreme also come with this deluxe door panel. It's got pockets for 10 handguns nominally. You're not necessarily going to be able to fit 10 long barreled handguns and some very, very large frame handguns just aren't going to fit. But I was able to put my Ruger 2245 with my Wilson Combat silencer in here and it will slip all the way in and out no problem. I also use some of these for magazines. I've got some extended round of magazines for my Chris Vector. I've got a D60 loaded up and ready to go for an SBR that I'm going to have in here. These pockets in the middle, they're, they are mesh. You can put who knows what in here, but I'm going to be putting 30 round mags probably up and down every other. You've got these little elastic loop pockets. You can put knives in there. You can, I'm putting the chokes for my DP12 in there. You can put different tools that you might need to adjust sights, that kind of thing. You have all these zipper pockets. One of these, this one, I have filled with the shelf supports that I'm not using just to keep it organized. And then these cool pockets are pretty neat. They are foil lined and that will keep these cooler by 50 degrees extra from the rest of the interior of the safe. And so in this one, I actually have all of the stamps that I have for my NFA items. It's a pretty cool organizer. There are a lot of different ways that you can use it. Just like the rest of the safe, you're not locked into one way and it's a pretty handy feature. <laughs> 45 minutes isn't a whole lot of time for what they did to install this. I was really impressed. It's their business though, and it showed in how fast they did it, how carefully they did it. There's not a single scratch on this safe. It did give me plenty of time to pick their brains about safes in general and Liberty safes in particular. The thing that they told me that really stood out was that their warranty isn't just good to the owner of the safe, it's good to them too. So there's no reason for any warranty service provider to cut any corners. Liberty Safe takes care of them to make sure that they take care of you. And in all their years of installing Fat Boys, of replacing Fat Boy safes like this one that have been damaged in burglaries, they've never had a single Liberty Safe completely compromised where stuff was stolen out of it. And we're talking about a market that includes Raleigh, North Carolina, the most metropolitan you're going to get on this side of the state. That doesn't say to me that fat boys are impervious to criminal activity. Not at all. What it tells me though is, in this area at least, it's unlikely that there's going to be a combination of somebody getting into my house, having the time, and having the tools to get my stuff out of this safe. To me, that makes the $2,100 that the standard fat boy runs worth it for the size and the features that you get. The Fat Boy Extreme is probably going to run you a couple hundred dollars on top of that, and you'll probably need to get that directly from a safe company, one that is in the Liberty Dealer Network. I've got links to both in the video description below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns that might be coming out of this safe, and other cool stuff. 
We'll appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.